sorry, just had a little issue with my Facebook Live, but at the end of the first half, we are up 27-21 with a two-minute half. Connor just hit a three that my dumb video cut out on for. Minute 30 left in halftime. The Castleton Grandma is getting wild here, wanting to have a drink before the varsity game. <laughs> Nicolette's mom was like, Kiesley, you want to have a drink before the next game? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and it's cute, too, because they, you know, they have Connor, or not Connor, um, Jack and Carter and Tyler and Helen playing together, like, their whole lives, so they're always together. Yeah. We might, if they were staying in Castleton, we might have to have a grandma's party. You know, like the wild grandmas. We are going to <laughs> Coming back for the second half, we're up by six, 27-21. We have Connor, Easton, Jack Sawicki, Jack Meyer, and Brax in the game with Kellen and Jack Ricotta on the bench. There you go, Connor. Good job, Con. Connor just scored. He just stole it. Woohoo! Jack Swicky for the score. We're up by 10. Yes! Good job. Brax going to the line. with the first one. We're up 32-21. 17 minutes to go in the game. Once again, we are in a championship FM Metro game. This is our Castleton 5th graders playing a West Fargo flight 6th grade team. Foul on Jack Sawicki. Still up by 10, 32-22 with 6-10 to go in the game. Easton with the rebound. Red ball. Connor going in. Nice. Good job, Connor. Good 
try it, Brad. We're up by nine, 34, 25. Good job, Brax. All right, 36, 25. Ooh, so close, almost got the steal. Yes, good job. Jack Swicky with the steal. There we go. Red ball. Kellen and Jack Verkota coming in for Brax and Easton. Now we have Kellen, Jack Verkota, Jack Sawicki, Jack Meyer, and, and Connor. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Inbound to Kellen. We're up 38-25 with 13.30 to go in the game. Stay on him, Jack. Stay on him. <laughs> Kellen with the rebound. Shoot it, Birch. Awesome. 41-25. There we go. Connor to Kellen for the score. 43-25 with 12.50 to go in the game. Um, Amy, will you will you do this? Yes. Forty-five, Castleton. Connor with an almost steal. Right. Whoa! Wild pass out of bounds. Oh, Connor for a two point. 
Score is 27-47, Castleton ahead. Yeah, I am, but not nearly as well as she would do. <laughs> Helen has the ball. Nice pass to Easton, and Easton made a basket. Score is 49-27. Quick timeout. I don't know that I should be trusted to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I think the chance of you doing that okay are much better. Much than better than okay. Scoreboard on that. <laughs> we could we could team up together on this. It'd be pretty great. <laughs> oh shoot. No, it's not. It doesn't taste good at all. I should have told you that. It doesn't taste good at all. It's good in a smoothie, but like on its own, on its own, it's, yeah, on its own, it tastes really bad. I should have told you that. It's not, yeah, it's, you would think so, but it doesn't. It's not. Oh, I know, same, but it doesn't taste like that. It tastes really bad. It's better if it's cold, but even then, it's not great. Okay, nine minutes and 40 seconds left in the second half. 49-27, Castleton is up. We got Easton Brax, Jack Meyer, Jack Ricotta, and Kellen in the game. Thanks, Amy. You're welcome. <laughs> They were up 49-29 with 9-10 to go in the game. Okay, go <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> what? Helen for three. Nope. Got the rebound. Oh, jeez. There we go. Helen for two. 51-29. What the heck has happened to this game? Like, I walked over there and I thought it was like a four-point game or something, and all of a sudden it's not. Fifty-one twenty-nine with seven fifty to go in the game. Look at Collins walking crew over so nicely. She literally had him. She had him by the arm and by the uh, by the hood. <laughs> Jack to Jack. Easton with the rebound. Jack with the rebound. All right. And the put back. 53-29 with 7-10 to go in the game. 53-31. Oh. oh, geez. He was absolutely killed on that. <laughs> He's like, really? <laughs> Connor for three. Jump. Oh, almost a jump ball. Yeah, I think so. Good job, Jack. Let's 
still 53-31 with 6-10 to go in the game. Got Kellen and Brax on the bench. We have Jack Meyer, Jack Ricotta, Jack Sawicki, Connor, and Easton in the game. Oh, that was fancy. Blue going to the line. Paula and Jack uh, Sawicki. I love it. Fifty three thirty two. Five fifteen to go. Fifty three thirty three. I think you better lock up. Jack to Jack. Oh, yeah! God, he's a stud. 55-33. Stay out of Jack. <laughs> there you go, Jack. All right, Let's go, Jacker. <laughs> I love it. Jack for Coda with, oh, good try. All right, Jack, get up. Hang on for a fight, hang on. Good job, Jack. Fifty-seven thirty-three. Got a sub timeout. Three fifteen to go. We have Verkota and Sawicki on the bench. Subs coming in. Kellen and Brax came in. But I do know. 57-35. Good job, Connor. Connor going to the line. There we go. Connor with the first one going in. 58-35. 2 20 to go. And with the second one. Good job, Connor! Got both of the coaches' kids like, what's up, Dad? I just got in the game. <laughs> Colin Easton. 130 to go. We are up 5937. Good job. Jack Meyer 
there with the score. 61-38 with one minute to go. I keep taking a drink. There's water in the lake somewhere. Oh, fall on Easton. Good job, Brax. Sixty-three, thirty-eight, twenty seconds to go. Whoa! A three from downtown. Sixty-three, forty-one, nine seconds. That's game. Sweet. Fifth graders took the championship in the sixth grade division of the FM Metro League. Travel ball to continue after Christmas. Thanks to coaches Corey and Corey for the season, along with the best assistant extra coach ever, Sarah Vogel. 